Uh, but we've got Come To Me. Come To Me track number four. Oh, okay, we're coming back with that, uh, that brass, the trumpet. Right. I should probably also mention something really quick, just before I get. You know how I mentioned uh, Luis, Luis Carlos Maldonado? Well, he was actually involved in like this part here, I think. I think he might have been involved in a guitar solo for this song. So don't worry, I, I remember to reference back to the musician I was talking about earlier on. I uh, um, basically... Lewis did some work within this track, I think, and uh, also Come To Me, which is the next song. So he performed in two of the songs, but yeah, just acknowledging that. We'll go back to Come To Me now, where Lewis is also involved. I didn't want to forget that. Stunning uh, vibrato there, actually, from John Tech Butter. I haven't really spoken much about his ability as a singer. Clearly the guy has pipes. Clearly the guy understands fundamental vocal technique. He also understands where to put the right emphasis in the words to make them matter. Again, it sounds like each of the topics that were spoken and sung about so far have been really important to him, and he's given it 100% in a way that's healthy in regards to his technique, but also makes sense to the other parts of the instruments, you know? I think the only thing I said about No Rituals is I couldn't understand how the story necessarily reflected what was going on and, and the, the harmonies and stuff. But like the, the, the vocal performances have been absolutely stellar. Daylight Bodies ain't This is quite intense, this part, isn't it? Like, it doesn't sound really heavy or anything like that. I'm not saying it's like like brutal death metal or anything like really in your face trying to flatten you. But just the um, the perceived loudness of all the different parts of the mix right here is really well balanced. The, the, the songs sound like they're loud, you know? In the least expected time, you know I can't read your Oh, nice bit of tension here with this different vocal melody. Oh, we're resolving it, going back to a safer passage there. It's nice to have the bass syncing up with the kick on the, on the drum kit with those kicks. I think boom, 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 boom. That's a great way of keeping a groove there and getting a person to nod their heads, you know? You want to have that central anchor groove to really help people just follow along once you tell your story so that you can take little dips and twirls without people getting distracted. Are we playing with um, brushes here on the, the snare? It's a lot more subtle because of that on those snares, and I think that's a smart move. No revenge to take. Why is so serious? I've got no revenge to take. This is pretty hectic, isn't it? Come to me.
Did he say, I can't read your mind, touch me, I'll know where we are? Sometimes that physicality can be very important for a relationship. Hey, Lewis. A oh, Louis. Just before you, I'll go back a little bit to enjoy the solo a bit more, but just in case it's Louis or Lewis, I'm not sure if it's Lewis or Louis. Apologies if I mispronounced your name, Louis or Lewis. I, I'm not sure which it is. I'm trying my best, but we'll go back a little bit so we don't interrupt your guitar solo, okay? So we'll go back to here, I think. Go back, yeah, there we go. I don't know why my computer's so laggy today, dude. I don't know why that is. Here we go. The assassin, the, the intent, the killer intent with those notes. The phrasing of that solo was legendary. I have to I have to respect the phrasing was legendary. It never felt like too much, even though we were shredding at some of those parts. We had some 16th triplets or something like that. And it was just um no not 16th, it would have been normal triplets, because it one, two, three, four. I think yeah, though it would have been tri but even the triplets were quick at their tempo, you know? Um that because that is quite a fast tempo. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We were not doing a slow dance or anything like that. But just the articulation between those modal shifts and then rolling with that melodic sequence there. Never getting ahead of the music, never making an ego project. Lovely sense of dynamics with some of the accents there and some smooth legato passages, but ultimately finishing it off with a nice Ben Vibrato, I think it was. Was it a Ben Vibrato? Was it a Ben Vibrato? I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of tripping a little bit. No, it was just a Vibrato, I think, which is fine, you know. I think what's making this really intense for me, and what I mentioned about the perceived loudness, is that that stuff happening with the percussion is what's giving it a sense of urgency, you know? And it's contrasting really well with the way that John Tick is really taking his time with the vocal melody in this part. Hang on a minute. Am I hearing a... Uh... What is that sound I'm hearing? I'm hearing, uh, you know, one of those things you put together, the things you pull apart and make to make a sound. I'm hearing that in this and I'm not quite sure what the name is. And it's bugging me. It's bugging me that I don't know what the name is. Yeah, so I could hear an, org uh, an accordion in there or something like that, alongside the trumpet. I could be wrong. Don't let go of the hand. No, 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 no. Go with those eighth note accents, great. Nice change of, nice, nice change of pace. Uh, you call me May and I'll call you June. Because they belong together, one after the other. Oh, nice head voice here. Okay, that was an interesting way to finish. I thought we were just going to hold that higher note and then, like, have that be the end of it. But we had the fade up. I wasn't expecting there to be the fade up, but I think that's fine. I mean, that was a five minute song and I think we put enough in there to keep it entertaining, especially with that longer form guitar solo. There's these verses and choruses and fun little instrumental parts and everything like that. We're not, we're not holding back. This is the, uh, this is a hundred percent effort, man. I, I have all the time for it. 
Lit by the stars, caressed by the moonlight, daylight taunting, bodies entwined. Oh. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, <laughs> we have no promises to break. I've got no revenge to take. Yeah, no, I think we're talking about uh, people spending the evenings together, if you know what I mean. Um, that physical intimacy, that sexuality there. Yep, there we go. Don't overcomplicate it. Just touch me and I'll know where we are. To find the morning and no demons to confront. Let the waves of heat roll in like the night will never end. Just slide down the rainbow. Slide down the rainbow. And don't let go of my hand. Beautiful. Beautiful imagery there. I, I dig that. I think that's fantastic. That's, that's splendid there. Again, another take by John Tech Batur, but he handled it maturely. And uh, it's, it's, there's a sense of sophistication with the song. I think the instrument choice was great with the um, accordion. I was about to forget the name of it again. The accordions and trumpets and other guitar parts and all that. And that solo full of passion was exactly what we needed to do. So why don't to Louis or Lewis for that?